this little video, we got some 2v2s going on here with Noko, Friends, and Belgabor. Did I pronounce that right? Is it Frenzy? I mean, I don't know exactly how you... Just call uh, me Tio. Tio? Yes. Okay, love it. Tio. I forgot how long he spun that gum in that emote. Like, it's like... I, it looks like two emotes in one. It's crazy. But we're going to check out Bush Mechanics, Sky's Mechanics, how she goes stealth, and all that fun stuff. So first, let's look at uh, Bush Mechanics. I think this is a pretty simple and all-around thing. So the idea is you go into it. Obviously, you can see your teammates as Noko jumps in there, but other people jumping in there as uh, Teo jumps in there, you can't see him, right? Well, what if he shoots? So let's sh see him shoot real quick. Shoot off anywhere you want there. In the face, that works. And see how you can see him, and you wait about three seconds later, and he disappears. So if you do anything inside of there, you actually get seen. So he's taunting right now. We, we didn't even test that. Taunting in there actually triggers it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. So it's about three seconds again, and it goes for the whole emote. So don't taunt and don't try to BM your opponent when you're trying to hide in the bush. Good to know. Um, also, if you want to jump up here, you got to jump on this little side. I always forget that. Um, if you reload inside of there, try using reversal while you're inside there. He's hidden right now. Try to reversal. Mm, you can see him. You can see him. Um, try to pull this off the best you can. Turn around, look at the wall, and dash into the wall. So you don't come out of the bush. Did you do it? Okay. Uh, he did it. Yeah, but I think he's still out of it. He should still be out of it. Or he should still be in it, rather. He was a little bit out of it, but I think he should still be in it. So any, most of the time, any of the mechanics that you do, any of the skills that you do while inside of the bush, um, you get seen in there. And it takes about three seconds for you to not be seen, including taunting. Um, if you shoot what someone while inside of there, you won't, um, you won't be able to see him. So he's invisible right now. I shoot him. I hit him. I mean, I'm Pip. It's a giant explosive. You still don't, you still don't know if you actually hit him until they do something. Spraying does pop you oh, out of, yeah. it does pop it out of there. Good to know. Um, but for example, let's say if Sky goes in there, so Sky can go in there. If she, she stealths, obviously she's going to be invisible. Um, if she, <laughs> if she shoots, she's going to become invisible, but she can do it. She can smoke bomb while in there. So Belgabor hop in there and smoke bomb. I, I, we don't really have an extensive testing on what abilities pop you out of, um, stealth or pop you out of like visibility and inside of invisibility and all that fun stuff but i to me like maybe damage being type of abilities but then reversal that absorbs damage i don't know it's kind of a weird thing but you can smoke bomb on there but the general sense is if you have done an action in the past three seconds before going or while going into the bush there is that much time that you have to wait before you can not be seen i guess it makes sense you can kind of say it's like maybe you have to be out of combat, but I think it triggers a little bit before out of combat generation starts. Um, there's another spray. Okay, Belgabor, tell me, can you see me after I shoot in the air? You can see me in there, and then it goes away about now? Okay, and then you guys can see the triggering of, see that little, like, illusion thing that goes on the outside? And watch the out of combat regen here. So you'll see the out of combat regen. Right now, I'm not in out of combat. There, I just hit out of combat, but I'm I'm invisible a good second before that. So those aren't really related too much. She, she, I got shot right now, but I still have that I still have that that illusion behind to the sides of me. So that's how you know if you're inside of a bush. That's how you know if you're invisible. You might have to have certain settings. You might have to test around with that. I've got very high and maximum all mine, uh, but if you have low settings across the board, you might not be able to see it as good. So I think that covers about all the all the bushes. Cool. Don't reload. Right. Don't reload. Don't reload anything anything in there pretty much for the most part will screw you up next we're gonna go over sky's mechanics now i know a lot of people don't play sky that much and um i had done something and i got called out on stream for it and i threw a smoke bomb in between me and my opponents because i thought that that would block the the line of sight of it and actually if you read the skill it's completely wrong so velgamore throws a smoke right down here in the middle um he won't, I'll be able to see Belgabor, but since the Androxus is hiding inside of there, uh, I can't see him. He's still in there. Now, what's also really cool is inside, the way that smoke works is it kind of works in the same way that bushes work. So if you're inside the bush and it's been three seconds since you've done an action, you'll be invisible. But the instant that you reload, the instant that you shoot, the instant that you do anything inside the smoke, if you want to go ahead, Belgabor, throw the smoke at the same time, and then Tio, shoot somewhere after he throws the smoke. So you can't see him, then he shoots, now I can see him. But then in a few seconds later, bam, he's not invisible. But if he shoots again or he reloads or does any type of skill, he'll be seen again. So if you get a smoke on top of you or you get a smoke and you're trying to hide, dodge as much as you can and let it go away. And then if that might, and then you'll go invisible and then you can make your escape. It's kind of hard to really keep track of it in the heat of the battle, but whatever. Another thing with the smoke bomb is a lot of people use it for your invisibility, which is a good thing to do. But let's say you come up behind an opponent like 
a Buck or a Makoa or someone really beefy, right? And you get out and you, you poison bolt them and you start firing at them and then you want to throw your smoke bomb out. Your best place to throw your smoke bomb is at them. So let's say Belgabor were to throw a come up behind me, start shooting me, and then throw a smoke bomb on herself. What that would do is that would just, when she, she, she would keep shooting so I'd see her. And he brought up a great point too is as he's shooting, I can see her. And not to mention, it kind of blocks out all that background just scruff, just that madness. So you can just focus on that outline and it almost makes you a little bit easier to shoot at. So if you want to be able to be as efficient with Sky as possible, you're going to want to come out of self or whatever, poison bolt, and then you're going to want to throw the smoke bomb on the opponent while staying out of it. So as he throws a smoke bomb on me and she's shooting at me, I have no idea like where I'm being shot at from until the smoke clears. And then I can see her. But she can, she can shoot me all she wants while I'm inside that smoke bomb. So that's something you need to keep track of. This isn't really a sky guide. I just felt like this could be kind of relatable to the bush mechanics because it works pretty much the same way. Emotes, reloads, shooting all while inside your own smoke or a teammate inside the smoke. You will be seen. You have to just chill to not be seen. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so... I'm not gonna ask.